Blitz, a Blitz Lu, Luigi. He spelled that with a Y. All right, see, I'm done with these names, bro. Like, <laughs> oh man, uh, Ajax is gonna be mad at you mis mispronouncing his homeboy's name. <laughs> what? Dog, he can be mad at me. Like, I just want somebody to be like me, bro. I, 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 I don't, I don't want to be that way. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be. I'm a commentator, bro. If there's something wrong, just move. And it's all good. We can move past it. But right now, Debo is having a, uh, a hell of a time with 17. And 17 trying to move past the combo with 64% and rising. And something that we're going to see a lot of, right, is like trying to air dodge their way out of um, out of uh, PK fire. Oh, and oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, AJ asks in the chat, what, some of them, what am I going to be mad about? Banjo, do you want to try pronouncing Blitz Luigi's name again? Dog, you're not going to be into this, bro. Dog, I'm, I'm, I'm already past it, dog. Like, look, look. Look, bro. Listen, I'm getting in the chat. I'm getting in the chat again, right? And then I'm just going to pretend that comment don't exist, bro. Oh, my God, guys. Who was that end of that? Yo-yo ball? That's wild. Why would you do that to me, Ajax? Bro, we're, we're homies, bro. Like... I'm trying my best. Anyway, let's get back into the action. 17 is already down a stock here against Debo. Yeah, he got hit like, with, the, with the back end of that yo-yo. Hella powerful. And uh, 17 going to be down one stock, as you said. Debo, how do you extend the lead with combos? That's how you do it. 17's got to be careful on <laughs> himself. And again, Debo is just fishing for these knockback uh, uh, Shadow Knights. Oh! Woohoo! That would have been dangerous if 17 had a little more damage on him. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Well, you set yourself up for that. You were on the ledge, and, you know, that lingers for a very, very long time. Up here coming. Not going to be able to uh, hit it here. Uh, uh, okay, you're alive. Good. 17, high percentage, but two socks apiece for both. For both Debo and 17. A big teleport here from 17 and the Nair. Got Debo stuck on plat. Yep, saw moving on the platform, so opted to go for the Nair instead of the, the fair. Back throw is not going to kill the PI. Using the Knight. Protect the entry on ledge here. Another Knight. Seventeen pulling around a ledge here. Oh, with we'll call a big F smash, and that Debo's off stage. Seventeen, get it? Oh, try to go for the down air. Does get the rising teleport again, but not enough damage on Debo for it to kill. Right, and uh, 17 right is so... Oh my god! <laughs> The angle that that, that Debo went at. That was such a <laughs> such an unfortunate angle for Debo, but right now, Debo, I mean, 17th brought this back entirely. You only get thrown all the way into the blast on there. Yep, oh, neck man. And, so neck and neck. Nice combo breaker from 17, getting the dash attack to follow up. Debo, trying to caught without a jump. Right, just trying to, to, ooh, 17, just trying to stay in the middle of the stage. Oh, the call out! <laughs> Did you see that? That that was a kind of home run swing where you just connect at the sweetest possible spot. Woo! 17 there, catching Debo like a big old spicy meatball, man. Oh. I thought Debo was supposed to be the, the one bullying, bro. I thought, like, like Debo is supposed to be the dude on the block. Debo was like, oh my god, here comes Debo. And getting hit with, like, I didn't know Phantom Knight had a tipper. Because that's, that, that's, that's what that hit like. Damn. Uh, half the time you're expecting the overhead hitbox, and that time Knight was like, yeah. let me try let me try my, my golf swing. Let me try my, my four. <laughs> Woo. Wild. He said Debo rolled up for his bike. And we'd love to hear from y'all in chat, especially those of you who decided to uh, wager some of your channel points on either player. We got the folks that are in for Debo uh, being all, oh no! Whereas everybody that put in some points for 17 is all like, yeah! Popping off. <laughs> love, to, love to see it. <laughs> oh man. We real active in the, in the, in the, in the place yeah. tonight. You love it. <laughs> you love to see it. So here we go. Debo, don't get hit with the brick twice. Don't do that. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, 17. Right in the lead currently. One game. So one down, two more to go. To see what changes can be made. They were kind of like going back and forth a little bit in that last game. So we'll see if uh, Debo can um, 
you know, rightly put it down. And I was going to say, so far, just a perfect Ooh. end. Side magnet to back air, but the teleport yeah. off stage and what's the shenanigans, right? Okay, a little reflect back. All right. Yeah, it seems like 17 has gotten a little bit of the download on Debo's habits off stage and disadvantage. That was a really well aimed teleport there from 17 2 to escape. Uh, did the Phantom Knight just extend the hurt box? Yeah, it did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. I was like, Zelda ain't that oh. big. Don't do that. <laughs> that punch not going to get here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, the, the movement's so, so calm right now that both players are mixing each other up, but. Oh, PD Thunder there, messing up 17 attempt to land, but 17, like, here, here I am with a big teleport back. Right, Woo. not being wary of the platform, the back air going to be able to hit 17. I mean, uh, yeah, the back air hitting 17, so Debo in the lead. Right, a little bit of respect, and kind of just waits for the, for the Nehru's love, right? So that way, you know, continue the combo after, but this has been kind of the most difficult part, is like, where do the combos begin and end, right? Because, like, it's hard for, like, you know, a combo-breaking character like Zelda to just figure out what you should appropriately punish. So, here we go. Especially Back. when, like, Ness can put you in such a dangerous position that you almost guaranteed to lose a stock. Oh, um, Debo was trying to patiently float in there, but the knight was still active. Again! Oh my God. <laughs> Send one. Nah, I'm sending two. Hold this. And another stock gone. 17. Trying to... And we've seen 17 in this position before. Yeah. Just uh, just there's just massive percentage down. Finds a way to come back, and then the all of a sudden the stock count when it's one one, it just both did like, you know, equal percents somewhat. So here we go once again. That's, uh, <gasps> okay, okay. Like, you gotta be. Oh, the shield break! I'll go back to school. Oh, this is school night. <laughs> Debo with Send the stock like on. Somebody's like, it's past her bedtime. <laughs> oh, Demo firing right back. Let's go. You love to see these two just throw haymakers at one another. Oh, oh did you just see that? Oh. Get the hell. Okay. Back here. Another back here. Didn't get the tech on the platform. Another oh, back throw. Here we go. Get air dodge back. What's the move? Debo, here? I'm not going to work here. He this might be what Debo needs to take us to a game three. Oh, just missing the yo-yo. Right, 17. High, high percent. Oh! oh Bro, your ankle's broken. Oh my god. What an insanely smart realization reaction there by Debo. Understanding that 17 was going to be stuck in end lag with Nehru's love no matter what and just giving it breaking you know having that chance that small window just drifting and back air 17 for the win hold oh hold on uh so Debo uh kind of just you know having their way a little bit with the set so far 2-0 on 17 uh Debo 100% putting it down 17 just having a little trouble closing stocks able to get the damage and able to get the combo but like eh. It's just a little difficult to try to like, you know, it's a little bit difficult to try to like uh, compete with Knight when it's getting like, when it's getting spaced. Like the Knight, the Knight from 17 is getting spaced perfectly, but Debo is just like, nah, bro, I'm out. I, uh, I actually think we have a slight error with the, the scoring. Oh, it's, it's it one, should one? be one, one, yeah. Okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Excuse me. So it is one, one. Good. All right, so. Yes, Here we go. Yes, chat is 1-1. One, one. Here we go. Game three. <laughs> Don't rob my man 17 like that. My bad. It's all good. This is just intense. We're all just excited. That's all that is. So here we go. 1-1. One, one. And this is what you want to see out of Winter Semis. You know, 37 to start it off. Can I get my money back guaranteed? 62. Are we going to see uh, 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 zero a zero to death? death? I need it. I oh. Oh, but there's still an opportunity. 89%. Man, if you are you watching? Debo, are you watching perfection? Debo's gotta wake up here and get back in the game. Phantom Knight says, "I'll take the hits for you and avoiding perfection." Nice. So, gonna nice avoid that right there. there. Oh yeah. Yep. Debo patiently just sitting on the plat, but he missed space that 
drop down F to, uh, dash attack and he's now off stage for it. Oh, how'd that back air connect? <laughs> right, and just realizing that yo yo really isn't like that effective, like against Zelda with the up B, like hitbox going a little bit above stage. And I'm gonna say, yep, gotta let him recover for free. You don't really gonna go down there. The up air, not gonna kill just yet. The knight, uh, woo! Sweet spot bear for 17 right there. Okay, I like the parry. Yeah, as Nicholas Gray says in chat, uh, 17's been keeping center stage pretty well, but Debo calling his shots the minute he actually gets 17 off stage there to even things up. <laughs> 17's like, oh, I'm gonna chase you down. <laughs> dash I, to, dash I, I, I was absolutely silent watching those three dash attacks go off. Like, bro, <laughs> if this ain't Smash Online, I don't know what it is. Oh! I love from Debo. He got the down throw there, and he was basically seeing what 17 would press in disadvantage. And he actually called the jump out, but just barely whipped the bear. Okay. I'm not gonna get the teleport. Well, it doesn't opt for the teleport. Nope. Uh, the teleport ladder just go. Uh, opt back to get in center stage, and that's what uh what, what old dude was talking about earlier. Like, hey, trying to just make sure you get center stage. Not oh, but that time and... goes for it. Yeah. Holding center stage very, very well. Very, very, very well. Now it's okay. Debo, though, you can actually pressure 17 from afar, but good dash grab by 17. Oh, actually saved him there with the hitbox active on the initial hit of uh, teleport as well. Ah, go whip it in there, but Debo taking his trade 122%. Still kind of a bad. Oh, oh my God! Again, Zen. those heels! Yes, I know you know what shoe size she wears by now. You've been getting healed so many times. And not gonna be able to get the uh the the teleport to snipe out the teleport with the yo-yo. 109 right here for Debo. Debo with the Nair disadvantage. Ah goes for the oh, bear but misses. And Debo has to keep on mixing up his recovery timings and options too. Oh, but a big jump call out for Debo, and that's gonna do it for 17 second stock. We are last stock situation. Banjo, are you hyped? I have to be, man. This this is gonna determine who has the momentum going into the fourth game. So here we go. 17, Debo. Debo at 57%. The knight, the forward smash. 17 says, look, I gotta establish dominance right now. No, oh, oh he checked the stage. What did oh, oh. Like That was so smart by 17, because if you recognize that you can survive taking the PK Thunder hit, you just throw yourself out there and Ness can't do anything. Yeah, the tech wasn't even necessary. It was just stylish. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron couldn't have had a bigger brain than that. Damn. Oh, but wait, we're in winter semi, so it's best of five, I think. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. So... David, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer to get get those uh, get them points. Jaden said, "Take a drink whenever Zell uses fan." Okay, so you want someone to die? Right. <laughs> so you, so you, so you want, so, so you want someone to just fall out? <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, uh, Two DG Damien does not condone alcohol poisoning, so please don't engage in a, in a drinking game like that. Drink Gatorade, no calories, of course. The Gatorade Zero or Topo Chico. Topo Chico, a uh, very good drink. Sparkling water, uh, the purest of sparkling water. Topo Chico, please sponsor me. I drink too much of your products. <laughs> anyway, uh, best of five, 17 in the lead after a scrappy, scrappy, scrappy uh, game three. Debo, it, 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 it might come down to a game five, man. Back and forth, yeah. back and forth. I don't know, man. One of the things that Dio started getting called out for more, especially in game three, was dropping shield at just inter-opportune times and getting, you know, a face, face full of Zelda heal for it. So we'll see if he managed to change tactic. We're back on PS2 for game four. Okay, I don't know, I, I don't know who Mark McGuire is swinging at, but... <laughs> oh, uh... no! Debo! Oh, that's the kind of uh, misinput in SD that can really strip players' momentum trying to bring it back. So, 17 now can actually try and comfortably play this on on the you know, defensive side of things. 
and sit back a little bit. Bedebo has to force the issue, has to approach more. Whoa, what a big jab reset there to get the baseball bat cracking. Bedebo saying, if I can't be Mark McGuire, I can be Barry Bonds. And hey, we take those as well. Now we're back to an even ball game. Ha, <laughs> ball, baseball. Anyway, uh, 17. <laughs> uh, getting uh, uh, an unfortunate, unfortunate SD and neck and neck. Here we are once again. Just hitboxes being thrown all over the place. Watch your spikes. Watch your dares. Yeah, I like that Devo's going for that down air again. It was just a little bit off. All right, Knight and uh, back in center stage is where we're going to find Zelda for... That's where we have found Zelda for most of the set so far. Ooh! The double jump, I, the double jump back air, I, I saw it coming, and he was like, I saw it coming too, so I went for it twice. 78%. Debo extend the lead right now and trying to snipe out of the air, but the combo breaking Nehru's love gonna be able to recover the stage. What's the play here? Phantom Knight back in the center. Trying oh, to get the, the, the ooh, got the bro trying to get the reverse hit of that bear. Going neck and neck. Okay, a little coast to coast action. Yeah, I love that knight setup to basically fool Debo after pressuring so much with the honest knight. Just completely saying the other direction. Wow, and Debo's just cornered. Doesn't want to just uh, oh, do the wrong approach. Oh, he, not gonna end. The back air, not going to take it just yet. Big zone break for Debo, but now he's got 17. Who's not going to have the protection of ledge vulnerability right there? 17 still surviving right now. Right. And Can't deal like, with the nair, though. Yeah, the safest possible option, right? And he's just going to go for the nair. Like, uh, I don't have to commit to anything too, too bad. And uh, is able to get the kill for it. Here we go. 17 down the stock. But like I said, it's still, still very, very close. Watch your platform landings when you're playing against 17. The, uh, the bears and bears will kill if they sweet spot. You got to be careful. But here we go. The damage acclamation. Debo says, I'm the big dog on the block. Where's my bike, Craig? The yo-yo. Not going to do it. Nope. They teleport, but Debo sent in the other direction, which probably results in less knockback. I'm still with him. Nice rising fair. Oh no! But he didn't get the ledge at the same time. He gets the PK Thunder one, but just not able to aim the second PK Thunder again to send himself back on stage. Debo, is... unfortunate SD, so some uh, some shenanigans. I told you Craig was gonna come at you with that brick. Debo's looking, looking good, but this is still do or die for him in terms of the winner side stock. Oh, oh no! He didn't. Oh, and. Caught 17, slacking, trying to throw Knight in the air. Answers with a back air of their own. Debo says, game five situation. Are, are we going to have to find out who's manufacturing that child's shoes after that one? Because I, I, I understand Zelda with the sweet spot. Like, we, we get it. She's got some kind of high-end shoes going on there. But we, we have to check Ness's kicks, too? Because, man, that was loaded. They have to be some type of converse. He, he's flat-footed. Otherwise, otherwise they, that wouldn't hit as hard, bro. He has to be. They'll, they'll just have to be just regular old converse. Stock X or nothing, I agree. Resale, resale value on Nest back airs. Nest on Nest bears, bro. <laughs> resale has to, has to be in the thousands, bro. Has to be Travis Scott shoes. But anyway, game five. <laughs> <laughs> Game five, dog. Here we Show go. Me. Show me. Show me. Three, two, I want a smashable for this one. Go. Right? So, uh, a little bit more protection from the Phantom Knight because of the platinum middle, right? Oh, yeah. If you get slashed anyway, but it might be a more setup opportunity for 17. I think this gives Ness a bit more maneuverability and coverage, too. We'll see yes. how it works. So far, just like game four, 17's off to a pretty um, substantial lead. Uh, a couple big whiffs. But Debo whiffs and gets grabbed for his efforts. Yep, and that stall allows for the setup. The grab is going to be in disadvantage once again. And hey, you got to be really, really careful how you uh, how you come back to stage because if you decide to stall, you not only allow yourself to get more time to get back on there safely, but you allow more time for Zelda to set up. Ooh, and... No, man, Debo with these SDs—they're so cost. Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say how costly they were. As Debo just went for another big spike. 
Yep, and now uh, Phantom oh, Knight for now oh, time. Phantom like Knight. 17, I think 17 should have just gone for a big uh, dare, even if it would have been a bad trade for him, because I think it would have been able to tank the hit and make it so Diva would have SD'd and been down to the last stock. Wow, and I think uh, Debo's patience has just about ran out. Debo has yeah. been just been trying to get just more and more aggressive. And why a character like Zelda, you definitely don't want to be in a deficit when you're playing against her because now she can do stuff. Oh, like but this. again, Debo calling his shot and getting that big back air, especially on Smash Fell, was gonna work every single time. Okay. Oh, here comes the low percentage nest juggles. The 17 gets out of the way. And not going to be able to get the drag down combo off that. Oh, <laughs> jab reset to the big bat. Oh, oh I, I just he he barely barely missed the prediction on the on the smash attack to try to send the knight back. Yeah. Barely missed it. Right, respecting the space a little bit. Wow, and this platform is actually doing the worst thing imaginable for for yeah. Debo right now. The mix of possibilities are just not quite there for Debo, and 17 is just dragging this on longer and longer! Oh man, the elevator upbeat, get the kill and take game five. Woo! 17 said, that's my stock, punk. Debo. Yeah.